Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to talk about how I repaired the prongs on the racks from our Whirlpool dishwasher. And this is the bottom rack from our Whirlpool dishwasher. And I've taken the bottom rack out so we can take a closer look at it shortly. So some of the prongs on the bottom rack and on the top rack were rusty and that rust was transferring to our plates, our bowls, our dishes, and it's just gross. So I needed to find out uh, how to fix them. So my first thought was I'm going to just replace the top and bottom rack. So I looked into that and it was very expensive and something that I just didn't want to do. So the option that I'm about to show you is what I chose to do. But before we begin, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. Also make sure that the dishwasher is turned off and cooled all the way down. Okay, so I bought these caps here that go over the top of the dishwasher prongs. Okay, so I've taken the caps off of these three prongs. And I've done that so we can take a closer look. This prong has metal exposed and it was rusting. So you need to remove the rust and clean off the prong. And then once you've done that, you can put the cap over the top of the prong. This prong has less metal exposed, but it was still rusting. So you need to remove the rust from the metal and then clean off the prong. And then you can put the cap over the top of the prong. And on this prong, I did not notice any exposed metal. So I cleaned off the prong and then put a cap over the top of the prong to help prevent any future issues and to create a uniformed look. And I already have the rust removed from these two prongs and have already cleaned off these three prongs. So I'm going to reinstall the caps just so you can see what that looks like. And when you do this, you just want to make sure that the cap is pushed all the way down. <clears throat> And on these two prongs down here, I had some exposed metal that was rusting that I had to remove the rust and clean off the prongs. And then what I did was I took two of the caps and I cut off the top part of the caps and then I just slid them down the prongs until they covered the exposed metal. Okay, so here is what the top rack looks like on our Whirlpool dishwasher now. And I put caps on all of the prongs on the top rack from our Whirlpool dishwasher and on the bottom rack from our Whirlpool dishwasher. And what I did was if the prong had rust, I removed the rust from the prong and then cleaned off the prong and then put the cap on the top of the prong. And if the prong did not have rust, I cleaned off the prong and then put the cap on the top of the prong. And what I did was take the top and bottom racks out of our Whirlpool dishwasher one at a time when I worked on them. I was able to just take the bottom rack out, but the top rack was more difficult. There are tracks on each side of the top rack and I had to remove a cap from each of the tracks to allow the top rack to be taken out. Removing the top and bottom racks might be a different process on different Whirlpool dishwashers. If you choose to take the top and bottom racks out of your Whirlpool dishwasher to work on them, please make sure that you refer to the paperwork that came with your Whirlpool dishwasher for all of the specifics on that process. If the paperwork doesn't clarify how to remove the top and bottom racks from your Whirlpool dishwasher, another option might be to contact Whirlpool to see if they can help. I might make a future video about how to remove the top and bottom racks from our Whirlpool dishwasher. 
If you are interested and have time, please check back for that video. And there still is some rust right here on the top rack on our Whirlpool dishwasher. And I might look for a different way to be able to repair this part of the top rack on our Whirlpool dishwasher. All right, guys, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching. And I do have other videos about our Whirlpool dishwasher and I will link two of them at the end of this video. And if you're interested and have time, please check those videos out. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And if you have the time, check out these other great videos.